guys. Welcome to Collector's Desk. My name is Nicole and today we are going to be talking about card sleeves. Hi everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in and I really appreciate that you guys are here. Today we are going to be talking about card sleeves aka penny sleeves. Because, you know, back in the day, they only used to cost a penny. But, unfortunately, that's not the case anymore. And these are pretty much just clear plastic sleeves that you would use to insert your cards. And then it would protect your cards from getting scratches, scratches or blemishes. And every card collector knows what these are. And they even have um, a pack or two or even more with them. Because nothing is more frustrating than pulling that really special card and not have anything to protect it. So if you don't have any, I suggest you get some. And anyways, I know there are a lot of new um, collectors that are coming into the hobby and then the trading card world has gone crazy. Supplies for card protectors and sleeves have skyrocketed. They've been out of stock for so, for so long. It's been crazy lately. And today we're just gonna test out the different types of brands are that are out there. There are so many different sleeves and brands. It's just wondering, can help wonder, but what is the difference? Is there a difference between these brands? And that's what we're gonna find out today. I did some research and I found the top nine of the most popular card sleeve brands that are out there that people are purchasing now. And I am aware that there are a lot of different sleeves out there and there are a lot of generic ones as well. And I'm not gonna do every single brand because that would make this video so long. And eventually the information that I'm giving you guys is gonna be a little bit redundant because these are just sleeves. And, um, but that's what we're gonna do today. And I also wanna let you know that this is uh, not a paid promotion. I'm not affiliated with any of these company. I am personally um, reviewing this for my personal review and for you guys that way you don't have to buy all these different sleeves just to find out what the difference is so we're gonna do that together and we're gonna figure that out that way maybe towards the end of the video you guys have a good idea of which sleeves will work better for you and which one you would prefer and why and I will try my best not to push my personal opinions on um, any particular sleeves or favoritism towards it because I do want to keep this fair and purely just from observation. Not I'm trying not to push you to, towards any particular brand. And I will, if anything, I'll probably make a separate video about my personal opinion on these brands and which ones I prefer to use and, and or if I have a change of heart and deciding, deciding to use another brand. But other than that, let's get started. All right, first up is gonna be the Ultra Pro Soft Sleeve. I think many people would like to symbolize this as like the original penny sleeve because back in the day it did used to only cost a penny. Now it costs like four pennies. This is probably the most recognizable brand in the market today and any card collector, if anything, every card collector has used Ultra Pro's product at some point in their lives. Each pack comes with 100 sleeves. The sleeves are really well made. They're really simple. It's durable. You know you are holding quality and it's packaged in a Ziploc style bag which makes it really convenient to get your sleeves out and to close it back. They pretty much fit all the different types of training cards out there. I'm doing Pokemon right now as an example. Sports cards, Magic fits as well. Even Yu-Gi-Oh cards although there is going to be a little bit more room because the card itself is smaller. But as long as it keeps your cards safe, you can't go wrong with Ultra Pro. Alright, next up are sleeves by Cardboard Gold. These are super clear and as it's labeled in the front, the color looks a little more clear than the Ultra Pros when you have them in their packs side by side like this. But it's clear nonetheless. These have very similar um, packaging as the Ultra Pro with the convenient Ziploc style bag, which I personally like. These are another simple penny sleeve. It's not flimsy, although the edges are not as smooth as Ultras, but if you just really want to get more picky about it. I... The cards 
The cart fits very nicely in the sleeves. It has a really slick, nice shine to it, and there's no scratches or blemishes. I did a strength test on these, and it's pretty solid, which is a little surprising. So these are really great sleeves to use as well. Beckett Shield is a pretty well-known brand. They even have their own grading card services, which is pretty awesome. Their whole branding in general, I think it's very well done. It looks classy, it's professional, and the packaging just looks great. This is their basic soft sleeves and it says it's a pack of 100 but it seems a little thinner than the others so let's check it out these are far the thinnest sleeves i've ever opened so far <laughs> these are just so thin and it feels like it will produce some sort of static if i tried to shuffle them or something personally i thought it was going to have a similar quality to ultra pros based on just the branding but that's not the case and if you're the kind of collector that loves to sleeve everything then these are definitely for you it's a good way to condense space because these are so thin and sometimes when you sleeve things up it things just get bulkier so there you have it Beckett Shields soft sleeves they also have many other product lines as well for card protection they have some team bags they have some of those binder sleeves they really do have a large variety of products for card collecting so they're a really great brand overall if you're just looking for something very consistent bcw is also a very large company um, they specialize in collectible supplies as well they have a ton of products ranging from storage boxes play mats, deck boxes tons of sleeves and this is their basic soft sleeves and they're two millimeters thick and you could just definitely tell the difference. These are really nice. It's very clear, it's smooth, and it's not flimsy at all. With the card inside, it feels well protected. So far it feels very similar to the cardboard gold soft sleeve, but with the BCW's plastic, it just feels smoother. Like, of course they're both smooth, but when you have them next to each other, you can just really tell the difference. It also passes the durability test, as you can see here, which is actually kind of nice plus to it as well. And to me, it's just another plus to get this. Behold, the value pack by Titan Shield. It says it's an economical soft sleeve, which it is true, and that's why I have a value pack here instead of the single, because the price for the single pack of 100 is half of the price I paid for this one. And this has 500 sleeves. These are 20% thicker and than the standard penny sleeve, so it is a nice bonus for the price, especially when I'm getting so many of these sleeves. These are probably the most economical ones I've seen on Amazon so far. Although I'm not impressed with the packaging, I think the branding seems a little dated, but let's not focus on that. So let's check these out. For some reason, the sleeves feel a little smaller when I'm taking them out of the packages. I guess it's probably the it came out from such a large package. These feel durable. It's really smooth. It's not as soft as some of the other ones because it is a little bit thicker, but it does the job. It is Again, definitely thicker, so it will protect your cards. There are some really weird vertical lines going across the sleeves if you were to hold it in the, in the light, which is a little strange. I think it's just how the sleeves were manufactured. Like, I can kind of tell what directions the sleeves ran through the machine. Like, if you were to focus on the... If you are to focus on the card, I don't think you really notice the lines for it to be a nuisance. It does pass the strength and durability test, which is... Which is nice. It's a pretty good sleeve to go with. Water break. Alright, let's get back to it. These are GameStop's soft sleeves. Did you know they sell them? 
I've been curious about them for a while now when I'm going to buy some cards for myself, so I'm glad I have a chance to check these out. And let me tell you, these sleeves are thick. You can just tell from the packaging. It is so thick. Look. Not only that, but these are also perfect fit sleeves. doesn't say that on the package, and it probably should do that because I had no idea. And looks like the brand is called Atrix. So I'm not sure if it's like a sub brand and the top cut isn't as smooth and as you would expect it to be. I'm guessing it's just the way to decide to, to cut the sleeves. And the edges are a little rough because it's just so thick. So it feels like it's a little sharp when you have your cards in there, especially the corners. But yeah, it's a little pokey. But it's obvious because of the thickness, which it is still nice, and it is a really decent product for the price. Remember, you're getting a hundred in one pack, and it's only five bucks. It's the only thing I had an issue with. It's just the cuts, which I find that was lacking. I wouldn't consider this a standard basic sleeve anymore. Really, I would probably put this towards the premium side because of that thickness, and it, because of. The, it is a little stiff as well. It didn't really pass the durability and stretch test. But again, you're not really going to need to do that. But if you need a thick, perfect fit sleeve for your cards, you know where to find them. All right, up next is going to be Pro Safe's 100 Count. These are probably the cheapest sleeves on the market today. I like to think of these as eBay sleeves because... It literally has their logo on the packaging, and you can really only find these on Ebays, which is very interesting. So I'm guessing this is their own line. These are just really your typical penny sleeve. There's nothing really special about them. It's just sleeves to protect your cards. They're not really thin or like ultra thin or anything like that. They're really soft. It's clear. The edges are not ruggedly cut or anything like that as some of the ones I mentioned earlier. And I had a really great opportunity to test these sleeves out as I recently acquired a large bulk of cards that I had to sleeve. Like, there were so many hollows in there. And all I can say is that these did really well. I read some reviews online from other people's experience talking about the lack of performance on the cards or on the sleeves. And the sleeves are being, like, defective or something like that. So I wasn't expecting much, but I did not have any problems with them. Or maybe these are newly manufactured products and they've improved their quality of the product since then. But I can say these are, were a lot better than I expected to be. And it's just so cheap. You can buy these in bulk. If you have a large book of cards to protect or if you even own a business, these are really good to go with for large quantities of card protection. Next product up for review is going to be the Pro Support Standard Size Card Sleeves. These are ultra clear and premium quality card sleeves. As it says, like so many of the others that we've seen today, these are really just basic card sleeves. I gotta say the one thing that really stands out that these only come in a pack of 200, so not your typical 100. Therefore, you will be paying a little more as like you're buying two packs because that's pretty much what you're doing. It is nicely packaged in two sets of 100, as you can see. These are a little bit on the thin side. It's not as thin as the Beckett Shield. I would say it comes in second place, but I do not see any issues with these. These look like basic sleeves, really. There's, it's not flimsy. It's really durable, it's smooth. The card slides in really well, which is great. And it's almost like a, more like a perfect fit as well. There wasn't a lot of wiggle room on the top, especially when I had these magic cards in there, which I guess that's kind of nice. So it would be like perfect fit. And it same thing goes for the Pokemon cards as well. So I would say these are standard sleeve and they're also perfect fit, which is a really nice plus. It didn't really say that in the, or in the packaging. The surface is clear. It didn't really do well in the stretch and pull test. It was actually one of the easiest ones to rip actually. All right, last up is Dragon Shield. 
Dragon Shield is known for making high quality card sleeves. These are the most basic soft sleeves I could find. If these are not the right one, then please let me know in the comments below and which one is the right one because I had a hard time figuring that out because there is no window for me to look at to see if I have the right ones. I'm just going with the classic. That's what it says. So I hope these are the right ones. Anyways, because of the high quality sleeves, these command a higher price. Out of all the sleeves I've shown you, these are the most expensive. Their whole branding for these is gorgeous. The artwork is amazing. There's a story for each sleeve, different kind of sleeves out there. And it's just holding one of the sleeves, you can really feel the difference right away. The quality is just really impressive. It's a lot thicker than your average soft sleeves because of that durability it's well cut there's no edges like rough edges or anything like that it will definitely make your card stack feel and be thicker because of that thickness i wouldn't categorize this i wouldn't categorize these as basic soft sleeves because of that high quality that it has it's just way too nice to be sleeving up basic 75 cent hollow cards that would be an overkill i think really and honestly it's just gonna seriously kill your wallet if you're gonna be sleeving every single little thing if you have an incredibly valuable card then i get why you would use these to protect your cards which is what i'm probably gonna do as well these are mostly made to be used in gameplay if it's meant to be used handled so to sum it up, I think Dragon Shield really just blows all the other sleeves out of the water. It's in their own category. All right, and that is all I have to show for you guys today. Let me know in the comments below which out of the nine is your favorite or which ones you guys like to use. Let me know in the comments below. I am always so curious about what other collectors like to use and why. I know I did a lot of talking in this video and it was a lot of information condensed in such a semi short video but i really hope you um found it useful and helpful and just figuring out what types of products that are out there and not having to spend a lot of money just doing what i'm doing now just buying all these different types of brands just to find out which ones is best for you because the difference between all of these is just very subtle there's not like a night and day some of them are that what we looked through today they have some of them are but I really do hope you guys found this useful. I do have the Cardboard Gold and the Ultra Pro sleeves for sale on my website. Um, I'll leave the link in the description below if you guys need to get some sleeves for yourself. I have some other um, card accessories and even cards for sale on the shop as well. So you guys go ahead and check it out if you guys need to get something. And um, I'll put a link on some of the other sleeves as well. You guys can really just Google these and you'll be able to find them right away. And pretty easily <laughs> is what I mean to say. And then if you if you guys wanna see more content like this, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then go ahead and hit the bell as well. That way you can get that notification. And I hope you guys really like the content. If you do, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much again for watching. I really do appreciate it. And then you guys just have a great day or, or night. If it's nighttime and you're watching this, have a good night. And I'll see you guys later, bye.